Ask Reddit by Arian Upaka. Redditors who fucked around and found out, what did you find out? Decided at the tender age of 8 or 9 that I was immune to poison ivy, since I spent quite large amounts of time outside and had never once gotten a rash from it. Since I was a born scientist, apparently, I decided to test this, by rubbing egregious amounts of the plant all over my upper body. Needless to say, I was not immune. In the slightest. Ugh this is like the most painful one I've read. I am severely allergic to poison ivy so I know what you went through. About 6 years old. Having a picnic with my dad by the lake. Some ducks wander up near us. Dad says, you know, ducks will bite you. That's silly, they don't even have teeth. Stick your finger out and see for yourself. Got bit. Cried. Your dad saw a teachable moment and leapt on it without regret. I chased a giant white squirrel and I found out it was actually a skunk. That stinks. Putting a 9V battery on your braces is not a great idea. It melts the rubber bands and you have to explain it to the orthodontist. You guys were so clear about gum and popcorn, not a word about batteries. I think this is really on you. Deleted. Lmao I love how you chose the word you. That forks don't belong in a power socket, unless you want to experience a flight from wall later to wall B. Neither do scissors. Source. Three year old me. Kept pushing back for my wisdom teeth removal, not putting money aside for it, and lo and behold, the pain went from 0 to 100 quickly and I finally took them out. Thankfully the rest of my teeth are fine and happy. I put off having an infected tooth pulled. The bacteria entered my bloodstream and infected my heart settling in my back. Had open heart surgery in May and had 3 valves replaced. Dental health folks. Gave a hitchhiker a ride. He thanked me for my kindness while attempting to steal my medication out of my purse. I picked up a hitchhiker when I was about 22, and he gave me drugs. About 5 different random pills that went out the window about 5 seconds after I dropped him off, but it's the thought that counts. Skateboarding is not easy, not at 40 anyhow. Dude, sleeping wrong after 40 can mess you up for a week. I don't even want to think about hopping on a skateboard. Edit to at, I'm enjoying the laughs of all of your stories explaining the awful ways our bodies betray us as we age. I salute my fellow middle-aged warriors with an ice pack, heating pad, and an ibuprofen chaser. I was a teenager working retail with a guy named Steven and I always just called him Steve. He pulled me aside one day and asked me politely if I could call him Steven since he preferred that. My smart ass replied well I want to be called gladiator but you don't see me complaining. He just said deal and walked away. For the next two years he only referred to me as gladiator. Need help finding something? Gladiator here would be happy to help you. He would get on the intercom and be like gladiator to the front desk. Gladiator. Front desk. Learned not to be a smart ass and never called him Steve again. Come on Gladiator is an epic name. You should have answered to it proudly lol. Ignoring my medical problem didn't make it go away lol. I usually give something mild moderately annoying two weeks to resolve on its own. If it's still bugging me then, I make an appointment. Seems to have served me well. It was a hot sweltering day and I wanted to get my bike fixed. Played outside all day as kids do and didn't hydrate enough. Walked to the bike shop in the late afternoon, got my bike fixed and felt faint walking back but thought I'd be okay after drinking water. Came home, drank some milk then some water. Immediately puked everything and then some more. Everything I'd eaten since the morning, not much, was in the commode. Stomach hurt and my face went pale. Went and lay down. Puked in a few minutes again but only bile came out. Puked by every few minute for the next hour until my father came home and saw me weak and pale. 
went to the doctor and he said I'd been severely dehydrated barely away from hospitalization. Put me fluids for some time. If my dad hadn't come home when he did I don't know what would have happened. Drink water folks. When 18 I was vacationing in Mexico and me and my family went to this horse riding attraction. Next to the horse handler sat this cute little weasel who happened to be missing one of his paws. I foolishly assumed he was some exotic pet that belonged to the handler given how close he was and I figured he wouldn't have been able to survive his injuries. I reached down with intention to pet its head and scratch his ear the way I used to do so with my sister's pet ferret and it chomped deep into my finger I was lucky I didn't get any disease from it. The horse handler didn't know a lot of English but from the look on his face he probably thought I was one of the biggest pindijos he's ever seen. It was so. The weasel got M before they could even finish typing. After years of my parents forcing me to paint my nails on the linoleum floor of the bathroom with a towel under me, I got my own apartment and was like ah, no dumb rules here. And that's how I lost my first damn deposit. My uncle once fucked around with a raccoon and found out. People always think AWW, trash panda, so cute but raccoons are vicious little beasts and will 110% fuck you up. I physically grabbed and lifted my dog out of a fight with another dog and he bit me. My aunt broke a fight between her Dobroman and her Abruzzi Shepherd, the Dobroman bit her in the elbow. After that, every time the Dobroman would act up and start doing weird shit she would point at the scar and the dog would lower his head and become all apologetic. I discovered that procrastination doesn't make problems disappear, it just delays the inevitable and often makes them worse. I know this, but that still doesn't prevent procrastination. Instead I stress about the task and the fact that I'm procrastinating said task instead of doing it. I wrote my own leasing contract to rent out my condo. After my renters arrived, someone from the HOA pointed out I didn't do a background check on two 80 year old sisters, and so the HOA banned me from renting my condo out for two years. Wait. How I can forbid you renting out your own property? As a young girl, I used to kick boys in the shins when they annoyed me. One finally kicked me back. That shit hurt more than I expected, and I stopped kicking the boys. Yikes. Very sensitive area. If you have a truck with a hitch on the back, you know all too well. Abusers aren't worth a second chance. If they know you're willing to leave, they'll just go harder. Being lonely is better than being broken. Had someone living at my place, they started causing problems. Escalated badly. Gave an eviction notice of about 2 months. Final night they beat the shit out of me. Evicted and arrested. Once, as a kid, I fucked around by throwing darts at the ceiling while laying on the floor. Thankfully I only got a dart in my thigh and not somewhere worse. I once thought I could easily handle spicy food, so I challenged my friend to a hot wing eating contest. Turns out, my tolerance wasn't as high as I thought, and I spent the rest of the night regretting my decision in the bathroom. Lesson learned, don't underestimate the power of spicy food. I had a guy on a first date try to impress me with his heat tolerance after seeing me reach for the hot sauce, he was sweating so bad and could barely eat his food. Date was cut short by his need for the bathroom. Never saw him again. If you throw rocks at chickens and laugh at the angry rooster, the rooster will find a way through the fence to hunt your ass down. If Zelda taught me anything, you don't fuck with chickens lol. 9 year old me, I want to catch and pet a squirrel. My mom, no. Don't do that. Leave them alone. My stepdad, don't worry. He can't catch one. Let him be. And x200b. I took that personally. And then so did the squirrel, who proceeded to take a chunk out of my hand. So down to the ER we went again and x200b 
My stepdad congratulated me on the catch and wanted to know how I did it. My mom was not impressed with either of us. Drank for too many years. Went from fun Bobby to mean Bobby. Stayed as mean Bobby for way too long. Sober now, getting on 10 years. There's still a path of destruction behind me, but the new path has been very good for me. I'm almost at 5 years. The smell of burnt bridges keeps me sober. I fucked up so many good things cause I couldn't control my addiction.